stick around to the end of this video. I'm going to show you what color I, I went with. Welcome back. Today I'm working on the cabinet and I just want to show you what I'm doing. I'm adding the facing to the top part that flips down. And that's going to cover all these knots and also where some of the screws are sticking out from the hinges that I added. So it's going to give it a nice finished look. I'm going to paint this and I'll paint the cover. I'm going to paint both of those to match the rest of my color scheme. So that's what I'm working on today. It's raining outside. I'm kind of forced to work indoors. I'm in my garage. It's in the mid fifties today. Now this is a piece of wood from a box I built for a movie. So as you can see on the back, it's not super great material. So what I've done already though, is I've sanded this. And once I get it attached, I'll do some more sanding. Right now I'm just gonna add some glue. So I'm using the Ryobi Airstrike lithium powered 18 volt brad nailer. Now this will take brads up from 5 eighths of an inch all the way up to two inches. I'm using 5 eighths today. All right, I'm gonna bring you over here. So, so far I just have three brad nails in holding this in, but I just wanted to check it and see how it's looking. Uh, make sure none of them came out through the other side, which they didn't. I don't know if you can see, I have some overhang on this side. So I might have to come back, trim that off, even that out. This is what it's gonna be like. This piece will attach with magnets. So that's on there, that's attached. The glue will be what really holds that on. The brad nails are just kinda they're not the strongest things. If you're not familiar with a brad nail, they look like these. They're just little bitty nails. They don't have much of a head to it. And they're like little tacks. And that's what I was using in my Ryobi. 
I'm gonna paint the back side of the panel that's gonna go here. I'm gonna paint the inside of it with this stain blocker, just in case the water slides. I just don't want any kind of condensation building up in here. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna stain block this side. You wanna make sure you get your tools together. So I'm still using this box that my six inch memory foam mattress came in from Zinus. It's been great. Got a lot of use out of this box. Actually, I'm using a piece to kneel on right now. You wanna make sure you have something protecting your surface. So as you see, so I've already gotten some paint on there before. Um, so I laid this down, this box down. Also have the Zinzer Ultimate Stain Blocker. This is what I'm using. You're gonna need a flathead screwdriver or something to open this up. And then at the end, you'll need a mallet to close it. My brush is in this towel. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake this up. I don't have a lot left, which is awesome. I'm gonna open it. Just like that. So if you didn't see any of my other videos, one note about this stain blocker is that it is very watery. So make sure you're wearing clothes and shoes and everything that you don't mind getting messed up. Also, because it's thin, you'll want to do two to three coats. You know, it's kind of up to you. I, I just feel like the, the more coats, the better protection. So yeah, it's very thin. Let me see if I can show you how thin it is. Well, that is just very thin. So definitely wear the clothes that you don't care about. My brush is not the greatest. It's the same brush I've been using. I didn't have the proper, the proper stuff to clean it. I've been using like an acetone and water mix. And just, I don't have a very good spot to wash out brushes around here, so that's okay. One thing I did to try to preserve my brush is after I cleaned it, I wrapped it in, the, in that towel. Yeah, it helped a little bit. It's pretty, pretty firm today. So I'm gonna continue to paint this and then I'll check back in in just a second. Okay, I got the first coat on. I just wanted to show you how much whiter it looks after the second coat. We're working on the panel that will cover this bottom section. I'm working on getting the magnets installed on the back of the panel. And also I'm working on a way for the magnets to attach to this half inch wood. So at first I did buy these washers that will fit there. But then I was trying to figure out how to attach the washer and I thought, well, maybe I could JB weld it, which that would work. But I kind of want the washer to be flush with the edge of this. So I was thinking, well, maybe if I could find a screw that would fit in the washer, and then I could also do like a countersink at all. Then as I was looking for things, I found these, which they have a flat head, the magnets will stick to these. So I'm thinking if I could just drill a pilot hole into this, use my countersink bit a little bit, that lays all the way flat. And if I just put one of these in each corner, then I think that's gonna work. So that's what we're working on today. So I have my drill set up with my pilot hole bit for this type of screw. And I'm gonna try to do a pilot hole and I'm gonna try to go into the, these edges here without splitting the wood. So fingers crossed. I mean, they did kind of get flush mounted. The magnets aren't strong enough to hold the board onto the front of the cabinet. So now what I've decided to do, I had two extra magnets. So I'm gonna use these two extra. I'm gonna JB weld these at the top and then the bottom, they will just, the bottom magnets that are on there, they will help, they will do their job and, and secure it to the bottom. But I need something stronger to hold the weight of that piece. So I'm gonna do these at the top and I think that's gonna do it. I have the magnet, they are JB welded on and to hold them in place, I'm using just painter's tape and they're overhanging a little bit, but that's gonna be okay gonna be on the inside you're not really ever gonna see it I mean I'm the one that's gonna see it and I don't mind okay welcome back it's been one hour which is the set time for the JB weld I use as you can see I have the magnets glued there I also have a magnet in each corner of this thing my first test Hey, that kind of worked. 
Now, I do have one small thing, and that's when it's closed, there's this. I'm considering putting a piece of trim underneath, a piece of trim that runs right here, and that'll close that gap for me. These magnets, I guess, are polarized, and I wasn't aware, so I've hanged it this side to go on that side, but it's not wanting to. this side it's not flush oh and part of the issue is this magnet's getting ready to come off so this i think will work i'll need to do some adjustments on this magnet because i didn't do a very good job on this side and the other one believe it or not it's coming off too so i'm gonna have to maybe give it a longer cure time So what I ended up doing is I had some extra one by three on that side and a one by two on this side. I just add it to make this thicker on each side. The way I added it is how I've been doing pretty much everything, wood glue. Except this time I did use the Ryobi brad nailer and I used one inch brads. The glue will be doing most of the heavy lifting on this. The brads are just there to keep it in place until the glue dries. Next step after that is I found my paddle bits and I found that I need a three quarter inch paddle bit to fit the magnet in. So my plan is to take the paddle bit in my drill and using the existing holes that I've already made, I'm just gonna go right there and hopefully countersink these magnets enough to where they're flush and I can get more JB Weld on here because just gluing the back is not good enough. I need to be able to glue all the way around and I need to give it a good two or three hour cure time maybe even just overnight is what i'm thinking had to adjust and adapt to solve this problem because i wanted to have my front cover on here and i just wanted it magnetized like i seen this really cool channel i watch called camping car joa i hope i'm saying that right camping car joa i love your channel i believe they're from korea i hope i'm not saying that wrong they're doing van life they've been doing van life and i got this idea off of them to use the magnet this is kind of my take on it and how i'm going to do it there it'll be something like that so i'm gonna make sure this is all nice and level with each other these two pieces so i'm gonna come in with the sander i'm gonna get the other side going i'm gonna glue them both and let them sit overnight okay i'm gonna do a little close-up of what i did with these magnets now that they're dry they're flush mounted and i did one on this side also i still need to come back and around it where you can see the discoloration on the wood that's just some of the glue i'm gonna come back with a sander and i'll clean that up now we're going to do the test and this is to see if the cover is going to stay if i'll be able to remove it so i have my magnets on the corners and it looks like it's working really well now the bottom really nothing on the bottom yet for any magnets to attach to. It looks like I could come over a little bit more. Yeah, I think if I just got one more on the bottom, this bottom corner, the JB Weld seems to be holding the magnets. So I just need two more magnets for the bottom corners and then cover for the bottom of the cabinet will be ready to go. I'm already looking at uh, paint swatches. I have a few different ones here and I'm looking at paint swatches because I'm gonna paint this cabinet a color and that color is going to kind of be my highlight color through the van that's the color i'm going to use to paint other things in the van so it's kind of where i'm at also today the blackout curtains came the they're thermal insulated they're also there's a little bit of noise protection a noise barrier i'm going to mount those i'm not 100 percent sure how yet either velcro or maybe snaps and i'm going to mount those to the driver's side side to the cab side of the header piece that way when you're in the bedside you're gonna see the wood of the header piece that'll be painted a color i still have a little bit of work to do on that to tighten that up but that'll be painted the same and then on the opposite side you'll see the tan curtains coming down and since the rest of the van is tan i'm thinking this is going to look really great so they seem like really great quality so i'm excited about that i'll be working on that soon in some of the next upcoming videos Welcome back. Just finished gluing the magnets. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and just show you how I have it taped and I'm gonna let this dry overnight. 
So I had one last magnet to glue. It was this corner here. So I added a little extra tape on this corner just to really hold it in place. Uh, one thing I also did is I laid the cabinet on its back. That way I have gravity helping out a little bit. I went ahead and let the magnet attached to the one that I had already glued on the on this piece. And then I just added the glue and sat the board on top. Then I just made sure it was lined up properly. I made sure that the lid section would open without impeding on where this position will be once it's all set. I believe I have it in a good spot. I think it'll work. After this, the only thing left to do to this will be some light sanding and then uh, some primer and paint, or maybe I'll do a primer paint combo. All right, we back. It's been three or four day process on these to get these magnets just right. As you can see, we have a magnet in each corner. And then on my board, I have a magnet in each corner. And it holds it on just like that. Still need to add a little piece of wood. These dimensions are really tight to maximize my space. I made sure that I only had a little bit of extra space above the water container. So once I do a dry fit, I'll know for sure if I can add that piece of trim right here. But honestly, it's all gonna be painted the same color. So it'll kind of just all blend together. Today's setup, I have the pump removed. I taped off the tube. I taped off the industrial looking screws. Um, I went with, I'm going to go with this Kills all-purpose interior exterior primer. I went ahead and used the remaining stain blocker I had to cover the front of this and also the back of it. The back only got one coat. As you can see, it's, you can see a lot of the wood grain through it. I did do two coats on this section. So today what my plan is to get another coat on this back, also do the sides that I didn't get already. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the top, even though I am really trying to get a live edge piece slab of wood on top. For right now, I'm gonna just paint it all the same color. Continuing on the kitchen cabinet build. Sorry, it's a weird angle. I'm using this plastic wood X. This stuff is pretty cool. It goes on pink and it dries natural wood grain color. It's also stainable and paintable. It's going to be just like filling it in with wood, basically. So yeah, right now I'm just filling in holes. Today I went and got my paint. Stick around to the end of this video. I'm going to show you what color I, I went with. I appreciate you all, all you subscribers out there. Now I'm going to go over to the other Part. I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna go over to the other part and see what kind of holes I can fill in. I'm gonna just try to fill in anything that doesn't look so good. Oh, that's great. Sorry about that, you all. Paint, this is Glidden. This is the brand I went with, not the color, that's the brand. And I went with a satin finish, so I'm excited. I want this to look halfway nice, especially if it's gonna be on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and my Facebook page and Facebook group, Pinterest, Tumblr. If you're on any of those, feel free to give me a follow or connect with me. I'll follow you back. Unless you're a serial killer, I probably won't follow you back. Although I may follow you out. Follow you back. I want to show you this wood putty it's already starting to dry as you can tell turning a wood grain color that's really cool i'm gonna let this continue to dry i'm gonna do some sanding 
We'll come back, touch it up with primer, and we'll let this part dry. Do some sanding on the putty, or the wood filler, I'm sorry, all-purpose wood filler. I'm gonna we'll touch up the spots I sand it with primer. I'm hoping that today I can get the first coat of paint on this. Here's the cabinet, and I have the bottom section is on with magnets, so I can easily just take that off and access. I'll have my water on that side and storage on this side. Before I start with the color, I am getting ready to do the first coat of the color. All right, so this is the paint I'm using. I decided to go with Glidden and the big reveal. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know if you can see it that well. This is the color. It's like a, it's actually called Pine Forest. I went in looking for a forest green and they had like three or four different kinds of forest. So I got pine forest. It looked good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on my first coat of pine forest. Start my first coat, I'm gonna switch to time lapse mode for that. It's gonna it's gonna be a minute. first coat on the door they told me at the place I got the paint because I used the kills primer they said I would likely need two to three coats on top of the primer of my colored paint he said it would end up being streaky which it is so I expected that this is not a surprise this back I left because I am planning to do something really special to the back I do plan on doing a final tour video of the cabinet as well as a tour of the van. Once I have everything done, there's still a lot of things I need to get done. This is where I'm at. Thanks for checking out my cabinet and seeing my progress. I have a cool plan for the inside also. I want it to look nice and I want to make the plan downloadable so that other people who are interested, they can at least have a starting point with like a cut list and a rough design. They can customize it the way they want it, you know, for their stove and not everything is the same, so. haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell Nikon Nikon I used to shoot Nikon cameras uh, anyone else a photographer out there anyway hit that bell icon and get notified every time I post a new video I post uh, my goal is to post every Friday that's kind of what I'm aiming for I just want to take you through all the steps that I went through you know try to be as thorough as I can thank you to all the subscribers out there thank you I'm gonna continue making content for subscribers I love you all thanks for subscribing 
more videos to come. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you are entertained, if you got some value from my videos. Share my videos, comment, ask me questions. Have a great day.